Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to finish our exploration of Lenosha. We're going to go up to Upper and the western end of Lenosha. So let's get right into it. We kind of changed the weather here a little bit to make it more like the wind is blowing and the clouds are moving really fast. And uh, this uh, theme that we're playing here is actually the battle music in Kurthes. And it's also another one of my favorite sort of battle musics that play in FF14. So we're gonna go take a look at the Ugaro Mines and then we're gonna make our way down here and we're gonna see what the old wine port looks like. I'm just gonna restart this theme just because I like it so much. So we'll just do this theme for now, and then let's change it back to. There's a particular event in Final Fantasy XIV, uh, a story quest that were, it, this song reminds me of this quest moment every time. So it's kind of an interesting story. It's actually in uh, Stormblood when I actually really paid attention to this theme. And there's a, there's a section in Stormblood where you play as Alphano for the first time. And you're sort of using his arcane abilities and stuff like that. And when I, when I first played Alpha, though, because uh, most people don't know, I actually really like Alpha no as a character. Like, he did annoy me at first in A Realm Reborn, but after A Realm Reborn, Heaven's Ward through Ed Walker, he's honestly one of my favorite characters. So when I first got to, to play him as a character in Stormblood, I was like, this... Like, this is the coolest thing ever, because I'm casting spells and stuff like that, because I'm used to Dragoon and stuff like that. But it was just, it was so cool playing as Alphano. And, uh... At the time, I was still new to FF14, so I didn't know what class that was. And I found out it was, uh, the Arcanist slash Summoner class, and then as soon as I got my uh, Dragoon up to level, at the time it was level 80, I immediately joined the Arcanist, or Arcanist Guild. And yeah, two of my favorite classes are Dragoon and Summoner. And it's just, every time I hear the song, it just thinks of, makes me think of that moment where I played as Alpha No, it, it was just the coolest thing ever. It was just so cool because it's like, you know, from a realm reborn and up, you're really just playing as your warrior of light. And then getting a chance to play as a different character was just. Uh, it was so refreshing, and it was just one of the coolest moments, I think, in, in Stormblood. Yeah, I think this might be... Let's check this map out. This could potentially be a dungeon. Let's not explore the entire cave. We'll save that for the dungeons. Because I only wanted this to get up to the entrance of Ugaro Mines and see. That is how you pronounce it. Oh, Ugamero. Ugamero Mines.
Because I think in a room or more, it's just sort of that little section where you unlock the trial for tight. So, yeah, we got more of these sort of like crystal rocks here. Let's see, should I teleport? No, let's not teleport back. Trying to think of what the fastest route to get down back down here, but we'll just we'll just keep walking. Let's see if there was another battle theme in Cortez. It's just faction levies. I'm not sure if I played this one, but this one's a Donalyn. We're gonna play this one. Oh, let's see. Music. That was 25. I can't remember if I played this in the Thonalyn video. I might have. No, I don't believe I have. Kind of fits the mood of that crazy weather. I gotta say, this weather kind of looks kind of nice in uh, Lenosha. I did briefly, uh, before the video, turned on the Dolomold Sky and... Man, that... Uh, like the final hour of Dolomol, like that sky, like when I immediately changed it, the, my whole like mood changed. It was, it was crazy. So yeah, I'm super excited about making those videos. Because I want to explore everything, like I've been saying. And make sure I'm heading wine for not forget about it. And like get to know all the NPCs, watch all the cutscenes. It's basically just trying to know get to know the game as much as I can before I make those videos. Cause it, it will be an interesting reaction. It's probably be more like a reaction video than like a exploration. And I think with those videos, I probably won't do as much commentary. Like, I am still making the, or plan on making the no commentary videos, but that's probably the doll ball videos are going to be more, like, emotional, so I'm going to try to do as uh, few commentary on that. But also providing my sort of reaction to what, like, how it makes me feel just walking around with that looming sky. Whoops, I'm getting stuck on a rock here. Still have not figured out how to change the weapons, but we'll, it's not a big deal. I know there's a thing that's where you can give items to your character. I just don't know if it's usable or it's just a list of items. Like, I guess I don't really know how to actually... I mean, maybe it's something with the chat window or, or if it's just something... that has to do with like code and stuff like that. Here, let's change it back to 15. Just the way 
this is one of those themes like I was talking about in a, like I think the previous video where it's like the first five seconds of the theme is just like like it, it instantly like grabbed my attention and it's the funny thing is it's like going back to the moment it, or the story quest in Stormblood is like when I started my alt uh, I didn't realize how much the song actually plays in a Realm Reborn with like the job quests and stuff like that. Because for some reason my mind only remembers it from Stormblood. And then <laughs> playing a Realm Reborn again, it's just like, oh my god, this song, this theme is everywhere. Why, how come I never really paid attention to it? But yeah, it, it's so good. That's the one thing, like, Final Fantasy music, like... I try not to pull up the map as much. I know I do that quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, Final Fantasy music is just, like, I could listen to it all day. Probably, yeah, within the last, like, month or so is pretty much what I've been listening to. Because I really don't really listen to, like, I, I used to listen to a lot of, like, punk rock, like, uh, alternate rock, like, like, punk rock, for example, like, Blink-182, Green Day, uh, let's see what else. My music's kind of all over the place. I used to listen to Linkin Park, uh, Newfound Glory. Uh, I did listen to quite a bit of Death Cab for Cutie, uh, Pulso Service, uh, Daft Punk, but not so much anymore. It's it's mostly video game music. I think I just kind of grown out of the like vocal aspect of music and then I mean like listening to the Ultima Duel song and current FF14 like that I can listen to like a lot because yeah it's just the the way the music is composed it's like it's something different But yeah, I pretty much just listen to video game music now. It's kind of funny when people ask me what kind of music I listen to, and it's just like, uh, well... Most of the time, I'm just like, whatever, I just, I'll just be like, I just listen to video game music. Oh, what's this? Like, uh... It's a really tall well. That's kind of a random, random place for a well. Okay, I can see wine port from here. So I shouldn't have to bring up the map. I think, yeah, the last sort of band that I listened to was Daft Punk. And I, I can still listen to Daft Punk. And it's it's kind of a, a strange like idea. Like I haven't listened to this that type of music like Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park I listened to since like childhood. Probably since I was eight. But like growing up with that music and like I kind of did like an experiment where because I haven't listened to it in a very long time I did one day decided to like listen to all that music again just to see what it like how I sort of react to it and it's kind of like Linkin Park I can still listen to but like Blink-182 a starting line was another band I listened to 
Like, listening to all those other type of bands, it just felt really weird. Like, it's like, I like this music, but it's like, for some reason, like, I feel different about it. It's kind of a strange, like, feeling listening to that music. Okay, so this is wine pork here. Yeah, <laughs> it is so different than a rubber born. Wow. Again, we got like crafting facilities here. I do like these sort of like castle structures though, but it's like, it's so different than Wineport in A Realm Reborn. I only wish I can actually go inside these buildings. Because really, when I just nudge my character through, there's obviously no geometry. I don't think you're ever really meant to go in these buildings. Yeah, it's certainly interesting. It feels more like a... I mean, I think that's probably what these are, like stables. It seems more like a small ranch to me than anything. We got two campfires here. See if maybe there's some different music here. Why don't we listen to? So I do plan on making a video about the character creation when we do the like city states. Let's see if I can pull up the character creation. Oh, here it is. Okay, 70. This song I really like too. This is the way it starts off. Oops. I, it's supposed to be this one. <laughs> Although that one I really like too. I wonder if that's like the level up theme. Oh, here, let's turn that up. Oops, don't want to teleport. This fits the mood of adventuring here. When I first loaded up the character creation, I was just greeted with this theme song. Uh, it was just the coolest thing ever. Like, I kind of wish they'd say they kept that for the character creation in the Realm of Born. Because it just sounds so much better than, like, you know, the typical prelude theme. Okay, so... These areas are pretty much going to be the same as this area here, so we're not going to really explore those, but there is this interesting place here, because this is the area I was looking for that's a large sort of beach area. It's really cool to walk by. So let's make our way to Bloodshore. I'll make sure to teleport to Bloodshore when we get there, just to see if we got any NPCs. Actually, you know, I just remembered this. I think this theme plays at the end. Or no, not at the end. I think it plays somewhere in Endwalker. I can't remember if when they took off in the Ragnarok. Or... No, I actually think it was when we came back from the edge of the universe. But I do remember hearing this theme in Endwalker. 
I'm gonna have to find a video and look and see if it's the exact same. But I'm pretty sure, 100% sure that it is. Yeah, because it, it definitely rings similar to what I remember. Because I remember that going in the character creation menu. I was like, this, this song is, well, and it sounds familiar though. It's like, oh my god, they played it at the end of Endwalker. Okay, we're at Blood Shore. My arm rubbing up against the microphone cord there. Oh, we're gonna have to change the weather back. Oh, geez, what was it? Back up here. So, it should be 8006. Yep, and we'll just go ahead and change it back to that. And yeah, sadly no NPCs, but we're getting closer and closer to the main cities. Okay, so yeah, we want to go down there. I did export some more of the cutscenes, so when Western, or sorry, not Western. Oh yeah. Western and, uh... Oh jeez, what, what was it we explored in the last video? Western Lenosha... Well, when that video goes up, I'm gonna be uploading some of the cutscenes. So, I got... Yeah, at least... Two more, like, parts recorded. So they're kind of lined up right now. I think it was just Western Lenosha. So I was thinking of my first video, was it? It was middle and lower. I was just like, I can't remember if it was Western in another location, but I'm probably just remembering wrong. Okay, let's, let's kind of turn this down a little bit. I don't want it to get too distracting. But yeah, this is the area I was, lo I was looking for in Western Lenosha. It's like there's this whole like beach area here that you can just walk around. So cool just to look at the cliffs in the distance. Like, it's just so cool to, like, be in a like in the same world, but very different. Another one of those portals there. Not even walking on water there, and it's like I'm on sand, but still playing the water sound effect. It's 
See, I had done uh, quite a bit of stuff in uh, Unreal Engine, so I kind of noticed things like this. Seashells here. Because uh, one of the things that I, that I'm just kind of learning game design and stuff like that, is it's kind of inter interesting how some of this stuff works. It's like when the character steps on the dirt, based off of the like sort of material the character is walking on, uh, they'll play like. I mean, it's, it sounds like, kind of like, well, yeah, duh, you know. But it, it's kind of interesting. It's like, you know, when they walk on this texture, make their footsteps sound like dirt. And then, just, you know, step on water texture, you know, make it sound like, like water footsteps. Again, it's it's kind of like, well, yeah, duh, you, that's what you want. It's just kind of interesting how it's like, sort of like set up in like Unreal. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but you apply something to the texture. And then, based off of that, you kind of notify the engine that, you know, when this character steps here, it plays this sound. Okay, we're gonna go back to Bloodshore. These Lenosha videos have been going by quite quite fast. It's just because Ladosha isn't like Donalyn where it has these great big areas. So let's see. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, let's head down here. And then Yeah, we'll kinda just make our way back up. So yeah, let's head down this way, and we'll just kind of change the weather up a bit. We'll just do since it's morning, we'll have clear clouds again. Yeah, sadly, since I started learning Unreal, I haven't actually made, like, a game game, but I did get a lot of coding and stuff to work. And honestly, it's it's kind of strange, because, like, when I first started, I think I wouldn't enjoy, like, coding, but, like, Unreal uses, like, blueprints, so it's it's an easier for like format but i mean it's still hard but it's easier to work with but it seems like looking at blueprints rather than actual numbers and um specific commands uh it's kind of made me easier or it made it easier for me to learn how to do certain coding I think the the most complex thing that I've done was oh yeah it was a uh, creating an inventory so it was much like an inventory in current FF14. The only problem is that I at the time what I was doing it was trying to code it code everything to controller input rather than keyboard and mouse. Oh wait, what's this? Do we have an NPC over here? Oh my god, we have an NPC over here. Let's see what he says. Wandering Mistral.
Ne'er tell land can see the sun, can see bare moons. Heaven spew crimson flames, hell seep back dunes. I have walked the four corners of Highland from the gar gardens of Zarakish to the floating lakes of War Sian Saran. But never in my travels have I encountered such a fell prophecy. One need not to be an oracle to revise the great ill which casts a shadow across the forsaken realm. You should, you would do well to make ready for the coming darkness, lest I consume you. Prove yourself a man of might and metal, constancy and character, and perhaps I can be of assistance. But make haste, my friend, for I shall linger here much longer. Speak with the wandering mistral once again upon attaining level 30 in any class or receive a special blessing. Hmm. Might have to figure out a way to get to level 30 and see if something happens. Wow, I did not expect to see an NPC over here. So we got lucky today. Wonder if we're, there's anybody over, over here. Jeez, if I can just look, I want to have to bring up the map. Wow, I, didn't, I really did not expect seeing an NPC there. There is life out in the wilderness. It's like I'm not alone in old e Eorzea. It's like immediately when I saw that green dot, I got excited there. So, oh, nobody over here. And this guy is practically just stranded out here. He can just do whatever he wants. Red rooster stead. That dungeon there. Hmm. I can't remember if I went there. We're gonna go down to Morby Bay though. guy over there is talking about prophecy is literally like oh how do I put it there's a great prophecy to even see that there's even life out here in Planosha or it's a blessing that he even appeared where he was out here we have somebody to talk to today I've never been so excited to see an NPC in a video game. That's kind of like the thing with FF14 is like even they're sort of like like doing almost every side quest is like even though they're sort of like NPCs with sort of like checklist quests like, oh, go do this because, uh, like, oh, you're strong enough to do this. I'll just sit back here while you do my chores or whatever. Like, even with some of those quests, it's kind of, it's just like, you know, you remember some of those NPCs. I think my favorite area doing all the side quests was in Lakeland in Novarant. And Shadowbringers. Because every time I think about side quests, I think about Lakeland, and that's just one of my favorite areas to have done side quests in. Well, Lenosha, or Lenosha, Limsa, Lamensa in the back there. Silly me, I'm walking around with no show right now. Trying so hard not to pull up the map. I do want to see where we're going to pull up the map here. 
this uh, this area here. Yeah, we're we're actually just gonna. Where are we? Okay, we're not really going the right way, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go all the way down here and see what that is. I think that was the lighthouse I saw in middle of Lenosha. I wanna go this way. I still can't believe there was an NPC over there. Legacy players can be like, "Well, yeah, he's been he's been standing there the entire time." They're probably like, "Well, there is actually supposed to be more NPCs there." If only this was complete. Because if this was still somewhat well. It, if this was a complete game, then yeah, I, I would be probably making tons of videos or having tons of videos planned. And I mean, I already do, it's just, you know, it'd be cool to have more. Because to me, it I've been kind of thinking about this, like what kind of type of videos these are like obviously they're exploration we're exploring the old Eorzea and it's kind of just coming down to it where I'm just like I'm just archiving 1.23 because there's there's a lot more videos of people talking about it than like really gameplay like other aspects of it. Which is why I plan on trying to cover as much of it, of this as I can. Okay, let's just find out. We're going. Okay, so we're gonna have to break off here. And usually when I get done with these videos, I kind of am going back to each area and just sort of, you know, just walking around, not having to talk, and just kind of soak in everything. So there's one of the towers there. Okay, I just gotta make sure I'm going to the right. Okay, so I, I did pass it. Gotta go over here. Yeah, actually gotta get to that bridge. Yeah, so pretty much the next video we're gonna be in Black Shroud and um, like I said, I'm gonna start in Gridania. And I'm just going to kind of just straightforward try to remember, retrace my footsteps. So we won't be exploring Gridania, but I'll be walking around part of it so I can walk into Black Shroud. Because, like I said, there are specific things that I do remember. Like, even the weather conditions in Black Shroud, I remember, I, like, I still remember it very clearly. If there's another NPC over there, I'm gonna like freak out. Cause, cause now it's just like, okay, like, cause that's the thing, like, usually I have to be, I have to load up 
specific regions in the zone to get NPCs to show up. Like I did notice in the map server, there were, I think, I, I think it said like 80, like transition zones, meaning like walking into one zone to another, it seamlessly transitions to it. So maybe uh, Lenosha is just one of them. Cause I know we had NPCs in Camp Muted Rock. That's the thing, I'm, I'm surprised the game didn't actually recognize I was level 30. Cause at least with the gear set, it's level 50. That's interesting. So I almost wonder what that is. I'm gonna have to try to figure out how I can get my character up to level 30. Cause I wonder if I can, I'll just have to really try and study the database. So let's see what this building looks like. Yeah, that's the lighthouse. Only they did stuff like that in Around Reborn with sort of like stuff flying overhead. Even if it was just like airships. Like it doesn't have to be Garlean ships because I mean that wouldn't really work. But like having like airships and stuff like that. This is that lighthouse. There's probably nothing in here. Nope. Oh, we got another one over there. Yeah, I think this is a uh, pretty much wraps up Lenosha. Just gonna take one quick look at that map here. Yeah, because it's a dungeon, so we're not going to really... Yeah, that kind of wraps up Lenosha. So, we're going to teleport back. Um, rock. And we're going to end... We're going to end right at the Limsa gates. But first, we must have the weather be consistent. Oh yeah, this is the one I had trouble reading. Let's try it. Let's try it again. Say the monsters are growing larger, do ya? Well, ain't that rich? Might be this you would be growing smaller, eh? Yeah, see, I'm getting better at it. I did have to read it in my head first. Yeah, we're gonna make our way up to Limsa Lamensa. We'll uh, we'll just end the video at the entrance, and then the next video we will be in well Gardania, but we'll be making our way into Black Shroud. Black Shroud might actually be 
probably about four or five videos because like I said, I'm just gonna go point to point because it is, or Black Trout is literally copy and paste. So at least that will cut down on the videos, but Black Trout is pretty much as fast as Thonalyn. It's just a lot more copy and paste. So, but I'm actually super excited to be in Gridania and Black Shroud. So yeah, we're gonna all walk to the Great Bridge to Limsa. Try to see if I can. There we go. Kind of hide the interface as we walk up here. Alright guys, and that will wrap it up for today's video. Uh, if you like what you see, leave a, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down in the section to tell me what you think about, you know, Lenosha, Final Fantasy XIV, 1.23b in general. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you soon.